really excited for Sam to have his son playing on Duke University. And Tyler's got one of the great mustaches in the game, just like his dad, <laughs> Sam. And here we are underway. Duke in white, pen in the dark blue. As we got a little game of muckle here, and Tyler Carper comes away with a possession for the Blue Devils. Here's O'Neal getting behind the cage. The all-important first time getting the ball around. Every off. One nothing. Duke facing off for the Blue Devils. Jake Nasso. He also has two goals on the season. Ball skitters now towards the side. So they have these two power lefties. They come down the way to the position here. Bergenshaw. Quickly to the short. Got to be able to play in traffic. Play the game with your feet moving, your hands free. If you don't think that's awesome, well, you need that awesome lessons. Procedural violations. We get the ball over Neal. to the Penn Quakers. Off dot. And a procedural violation. It's always nice to be not in a deuce, as one might say. <laughs> Back at the faceoff skirmish. I tell you, Jake Nassau for Duke. Out of St. Anthony's. Not just St. Anthony's got that back and Great Dory ground ball. Ball their angle. It was an incredible it's, it's, play. And those are the plays you're going to see yeah. today. These are two great teams loaded with great players. You're going to see plays like that. So, so hard for that reach around on that shot. Three to three. It, you know, this is the game we were hoping for, right? Both it's teams different. trading punches. The thing to watch for is face-offs and possessions. This is another win, another win by Penn. Really important. Gergar catches that one with his feet moving, lets it go, and Penn maintains insane. possession. Here's Hand. It went through about three sticks, so it, it is what it is, and that's what lacrosse and the beauty of it is. What a threading of the needle. Penn sends out Chris Aseri for the faceoff, and Aseri is doing a great job. NASA into faceoff for the Blue Devils. possession so it'll be a play on big Duke, Duke watch party going on Booker in Philadelphia at the home of Billy Connors I'm told that there's a big uh, plate of cheesesteaks but Jordan Wolf won't <laughs> pass them he won't pass the cheesesteaks he's still not passing <laughs> that's legit I tell you what you give me a you give me BJ Farrar at any moment I'll take him here's Garrett Ledman that destroyed the top yeah, corner I'm surprised yeah. it didn't rip the net yeah in the 80s, that net would have ripped. The nets are a little stronger <laughs> these days yeah. with this new technology. Nice face off. Irregardless, one of your favorite words. It's now Cinco de Tayo. 5 5, your score. Is irregardless <laughs> actually a word? I'm <laughs> no, curious. Maybe it's somebody totally from. Not. Maybe well, some enough. Ivy League friend of ours in Penn could make he scored twice from that same position. He does like that wing dodge. Two goals on four shots. That goes with Chris Asiri. And Dockery or Salacasio, they're still not making that. They're two best goalies ever play. They're not making that save. That's a placement goal. What a great rip. By the way, I thought it was Dougherty as opposed to Dockerty. Doc Dougherty. Yeah. The good Doc. Plank the stick. One of the great players in the country is BJ. That's a quick face-off win, but he wins it back in Penn's ride. Had Ledman, Keel out of Bullis School. Garrett Ledman out of DeMatha. A couple guys from that Maryland area. Now driving to the cage. Duke already five and one on the season. Their seventh game, this is Penn's second. With a respectable 10-8 loss to Georgetown. Georgetown's a fabulous team. Coach Kevin Warren's doing a great job at Georgetown. Back at the faceoff logo here at MacArthur High School. And wins the faceoff. The Godfather himself. Mr. Thank you, Booker. Great, great to have you guys. Great game. Out of the way to make lacrosse fun again. BJ. 
back at the face-off logo here at MacArthur High School. And wins the face-off on a little procedural violation. That was Chris. So, uh, and Duke wins the face-off. Yep. So here we go. Nassau's doing a great job for Duke. A bona fide Silicon Valley whiz kid. God, I wish. <laughs> Penn sends Jamie Zussi out for this face-off. Duke wins it. And Adler, he does so many things. Mad Chili here at MacArthur High School. Thank you so much to our friends. Ten minutes to go. Yep. Key part of the game. This is a face-off you need to win if you're the Quakers. Charlie O'Connor exhibiting the five Ds of dodging. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Piper Bond. Guys, yep. it's a hustler, it's a scrapper, he's everywhere. Scored, they cut it to one. Genius. Genius. Holy Hannah. We got a ball game, this is expected. Key face off. A little game of muckle, but a nice ground ball pickup. And just like Still that, play. Ben, BJ Farrar. Still in play. Did we get a push there? No. Chaotic. See how much fatigue sets in on Duke's face-off guy, Nasso. Clean win by Penn. That was a really clean draw. Wins it right back to himself. Scoops it, gets it to Burkinshaw, and now the defense. Made it to Garden <laughs> City, for crying out loud. Yeah. yeah. Well, man, John Gamage might be picking that ball up right now. Oh, behind the back by O'Neal. Really important round ball. Whoops. Great man. Face-off win for Duke. Crucial. Pressure coming. Hesu, he's got two goals this, so far this year. Thought Duke. Now he's taking all the face-offs for Duke today. A series is seven out of 16, so just below 50%. It's a nice little matchup. I'll tell you what you don't want to do here, Booker. You don't want to jump early. You need the award of possession. We got a uh, there's definitely a man advantage, I think, here because BJ Ferrar's alone on the far wing. NASA wins the possession. Long pass. Adler in the right spot at the right time. He will retreat and get it across.